Another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be an 18 battle. Gypsy versus Raz, bottom left hand corner. We have Raz starting as the red Protoss upper hand corner. We have Gypsy starting as the. I want to say teal, but this is, you know, it's green Terran. <clears throat> on Eclipse. And it should be a fun one. These two guys, I, I got to give the edge to Gypsy between these two. But Raz is a worthy opponent and can pull games. A lot of people, I guess Quark and Chat the other day in particular, was saying that a lot of people feel that Gypsy currently is the best Terran in North America. And I have to agree. I really can't think of another Terran that's quite at his level. Raz is a very formidable Protoss player, and he has really been improving his game dramatically recently, maybe because of these exact sort of team battles and whatnot. I do not think it is impossible that he could sneak a victory away from Gypsy, but I feel like Gypsy's his play against Protoss in particular tends to be very, very strong. At least what I've seen of him on stream. Anyway, Pylon down. Very early scout. Scout almost practically before Pylon, so he definitely wanted to see what Gypsy's up to. Maybe get some harassment. The one thing for Gypsy, though, is when I've seen him playing at least on the Korean ladder, going up against Koreans. Wow, I actually already had the SCV in the way, not able to block that probe scout out. And it looks like, no, uh, so for a second there, I thought that probe was going to attempt to block the barracks, but instead is just going to walk in and get that gas deal. It looks like that's what Raz was after the entire time. Just wanted to go, and that's one thing that Protoss have been doing. It's very, very on meta to try to do that, and that's that makes sense. Send that probe out early. Make sure you get the gas deal, and he wants to try to harass this SCV building the barracks. You can see Gypsy already on top and trying to attack that probe and prevent it from doing so, the SCV moving out. So... My guess is is after this, so that does slow down the economy a little bit, but what that does allow is for more pressure from early zealots because the gas steals slow and stealing that gas uh, because the and it looks like the SCV immediately uh, momentarily after that SCV actually taking a decent amount of damage. That barracks does look like it's going to get constructed though, but essentially what Raz is trying to do is he's trying to put in as much fight as possible to slow this barracks down so that there'll be fewer marines and also have that gas there so it's going to delay a factory so effectively those zealots are more are brutal they're they're just better fighting units in the early game and you can see the scv has already plopped down an engineering bay to go ahead and block the natural expansion this is a this is kind of the the typical counter i've seen to this which is to just block off that natural expansion therefore and like okay you can go ahead and do your economic harass with those zealots but it's going to be a while before you can go ahead and grab your natural expansion as a result. Probe trying to do some damage to get that SCV out of there. And actually Raz opting, maybe because he lost that SCV and already saw three Marines in production, actually opting to pull that Zealot back. And rather than going for the harassment on the front, he's just going to go ahead and sit back and try to take out that engineering. But he does have a second Zealot in production. No cybernetics core yet. So it looks like he's just kind of giving up on the hara this harass altogether feeling like Gypsy has done a sufficient job pushing it back. Gypsy grabbing that command center. Oftentimes as a response I've seen to this, there's sometimes a, a fast gas at the natural expansion. Well, actually, if, if you, there's an ASL match that I recommend checking out, and I think it was Light. And I can't remember who he's up against, but he actually did a clever thing where he went for a faster natural expansion in response to this, grabbed his gas at the natural expansion, and then pulled a lot of SCVs just to get gas a little bit faster. Gypsy still respecting those zealots. He's getting that bunker down pretty quickly but and lifting off that barracks now that he's got a fourth marine out to go ahead and get that scouting information only a single scv in gas uh currently so there's the scv transfer so waiting to plop down and get that sufficient gas to get that factory three zealots are marching up they should be able to run by that bunker actually unless gypsy can get something in the way right here this does look like there's a potential run by situation though the bunk the barracks is floating over to go ahead and seal that off I feel like I'm a half step behind in this commentary. Going ahead and sealing that off, that should prevent those zealots from being on just in the nick of time, too. The zealots still gonna go, that is a gap. So still trying to run through. Yeah, that's not a, a full seal. So the zealots still able to get across. The four marines pulling out. This is four marines versus two zealots with the marine. However, the SCV is doing a great job linebackering. And actually that zealot taking a huge amount of damage from that SCV. So able to take out a marine, but a really nice prevention there but Raz able to get in the main and stop that SCV on the factory slowing it down so actually doing a good amount of harassment and while all that's happening he has gotten his cybernetics core up he's starting to build dragoons he might be able to get range on top of everything else and that's going to force 
I think Gypsy, feeling that pressure, feeling that delay from the factory, and also all indications from Raz, where I'm going to harass your front door, I'm going to be aggressive. So he's plopping down that second factory. We'll see if he decides to get aggressive as a follow-up, or if he's just going to use it for a uh, defensive measure to get more units out to defend against potential follow-up pressure. The first Dragoons are flooding out. It looks like... I can't... I'm not sure that Raz is actually going to dedicate to that, actually, because there's... There's one Dragoon out on the front. It is sitting and staying back. He does have that robotics facility. He's going two gate. This usually suggests that he's going to move more into a two gate uh, robo and potentially go for some economic harass along those lines. First tank is in production. Siege tech not quite upgrading just yet. And some additional Marines being supplemented just in case. And I think Gypsy actually might follow this up with an attack of his own. Yeah, he's dropping that second machine shop. So Raz is going ahead and grabbing that shuttle, grabbing that robotic support bay. But, and he's going to need it. He's going to need that Reaver to deal with whatever Gypsy is throwing at him. And dropping that double machine shop usually suggests that he's going to wait for, I don't know, six Marines is the typical thing. It looks like he's got seven right now. Six Marines, usually three tanks. So there's the two additional tanks in production. Then there's uh, double upgrades in the Vultures that tend to follow this up. And actually, is he moving another SCV to drop a third factory? It's third factory and potentially a fourth. There is another SCV waiting alongside to go f up to four factories. So basically, he wants to just... Forget everything else. He just wants to shove this down Raz's throat. He just wants to go for it here. Reaver is in production. Raz now actually behind as far as just economic output. It looks like he's got a Dragoon. This is kind of clever. He's not setting up for that third expansion. He was, and unfortunately, this is going to work against him. He's like, ah, oh, maybe I'm taking a third here when actually he's going to go for some economic harass with this Reaver. He's going to need that shuttle and he's going to need troops producing constantly to fight this off. And the other thing I don't like about this is he's kind of given up the front here. He hasn't put any harassment on the front door, so he really has no idea what Gypsy's up to. So Gypsy's going to be able to unload, get a lot of territory covered without any sort of Dragoon or anything else in his face. And he's going to be able to follow this up with four factories pumping vultures. So I don't know that Raz is just going to have the pure economic output, or I should say the pure production output, to really fight back what Gypsy is throwing at him. First Dragoon's moving out, but that's as four siege tanks, five siege tanks are moving out with this grouping of Marines, and there's going to be a slew of Vultures to follow. And honestly, with those Marines, they might even be able to take this shuttle out. This shuttle, and this is going to be key. Does this shuttle spot it? The Marines initially seeing that shuttle. The Reaver dropping, looking to get some free shots off. Does manage to get, oh, a dud shot, only killing a single Marine. He needs to continue with that harass. Dr Gypsy now moving to the south. And is going to engage this Dragoon on his own. Raz starting to move forward. He realizes he needs to get some position to kind of delay and and at least stop this attack. Siege Tech is going to be the sealer. That is researching in the background. Reaver dropping. This Reaver needs to do work. Good damage right there. Some mines being dropped. Nice micro picking up that lower mine. No mine drag to follow that up. The Dragoon's picking off some additional tanks. And Raz actually doing a great job microing against this. And has bought himself... A little bit of room and has done a good job avoiding a lot of those mines and keeping the dragoons from getting spread out only two siege tanks left and that reaver with just a slur of health just took out all sorts of siege tanks but gypsy still has two siege tanks multiple vultures engaging a reaver on the front taking a lot of damage only able to get a single shot off the vultures are now flooding into that natural expansion a lot of mines planted raz should actually evacuate this natural expansion immediately with those probes the probes just now getting there the the Dragoon's able to take out that last Siege Tank before Siege Tech is finished, but there's more mines and more Vultures starting to flood through. But keep in mind, Gypsy able to get a good amount of economic damage done, but he invested a lot in this attack. And there's only a single Vulture left. I don't think Raz ended up losing an immense amount. He's already gone up and grabbed his 9 o'clock, and it looks like Raz actually, with some nice Dragoon and Reaver Micro, was able to fight that pressure off. That's four factory dedication, and it looks like a third command center. So Gypsy at this stage does, I, I gotta say, I don't know that he has a lot of map control. So he's gonna try to rely on vulture pressure to follow this up to pin Raz back and prevent him for, from doing any sort of harassment, basically to allow him to take his third. But Raz already has shuttle speed and two reavers. Looks like there is a turret that's not even complete here. So Raz is in a good position, actually. And the, wow, right above that and he's going to get some counter attack losing that first reaver immediately to this two siege tanks pocketed below still trying to find a shot is actually going to be able to drop right on top of these siege tanks otherwise a great shot right there
taking out a lot of SCVs and there's only this turret in that far position. Might actually be able to get another shot here. Not able to get a Scarab off, but that is causing those SCVs to scatter. And it looks like he can kind of follow up that right-hand corner. But there's some Goliath accidentally attacking his own bunker. There, it looks like, uh, in the meantime, some Vultures trying to sneak into that 9 o'clock base from Raz and get some disruption down, done there. The Observer moving up. That's one thing when you do go for these early attacks like this, sometimes your Observer count ends up... Ah! Raz eating, looks like two mines, only it, only hitting two Dragoons right there. He's actually lucky that he didn't end up losing more out of that. More Vultures sneaking through. They're going to try to sneak into that natural expansion. Or at least plant some mines in between to do some additional harass. That shuttle moving back out. So Gypsy trying to take this 12 o'clock. This is very, or 1 o'clock. This is very brave. Or I should say very bold. I don't know that he's going to be able to take that even with this Reaver constantly harassing at this position yet. And I don't know that he has the troops. He's actually transferring a lot of SCVs, trying to move up with two siege tanks. But that's leaving a lot. This is a very thin defense. A very thin defense to try to push all this back. So he really needs to keep these vultures alive into the corner. He really needs to make sure that these mines stay up. And he's trying to and more damage being done. So basically a lot of micro both directions. The Goliaths are up there. That's able to take out the shuttle and the Reaver. So Gypsy's going to go up in theory, a base, because usually you want to be one base ahead as Protoss. My question is, is can he hold it? Raz has a large Dragoon force out. He's got about, he's got about 10 supply lead. But there's a lot of Goliaths, a lot of Vultures, and I don't no see a huge amount of Siege Tanks to defend a lot of these holdings. He does have a number of factories in the double machine shops to increase that count very rapidly. Starport's already up as well. So kind of a furious attack in the early game. Gypsy actually skipping... Armories and looks like a little bit delayed on. I'm kind of curious about this starport play here. Uh, before that, actually getting a Terran Science facility, so he's worried about a turnaround Arbiter play potentially, and maybe wanting to get a Science vessel out so he can cope with that. At least I believe that's what that that play is happening there. Still doesn't have level one weapons. That's going to be finishing in just a moment. Actually, I think that's in time for level. I take that back. I think this is to get that level two weapons uh, rolling sooner rather than later. Zealots moving in. A Zealot does somehow get dr the drop there. The Dragoon's not quite able to press in this. And so I, before we were saying, like, I don't know that there's room to sneak in. It looks like Gypsy has established a nice defensive line. And is actually even clogging this up with supply depots and everything else. So now it goes back to Raz. Is what is he going to do to follow us up? He's got, it looks like, about five gateways worth of production. He is getting that Arbiter rolling. And it looks like he's now realizing he's not going to be able to stop that third. He's just going to go ahead and try to plop down this 10 o'clock base in response. So Gypsy sitting back. Raz in a pretty good position. He's about, that's where you want to be, about 15 supply up, approximately. Gypsy not in a bad position either, though. He's got the factories up. He's starting to fill this out. He's actually got a nice siege tank line that's kind of filled in that in-between gap. And now he's starting to press forward with these vultures to go ahead and sneak around and harass. Running the dragoons to the south. Let's see if they can get some mines down. Actually able to kill a probe that was sneaking out there. Wondering if that probe was was pocketed to try to go ahead and try to take this expansion that bottom right. And that killing that, I mean, that delays a lot of time. Because you got to walk that probe all the way out there. So nice play. However, this base is going up at the 10 o'clock location. It looks like cannons are already warping in. Stasis is already coming online. I do believe, though, <clears throat> with what Raz has, he is going to have sufficient Arbiters up to kind of follow this this play up. Level 1 weapons is online. And so basically, the play here for Gypsy is, is let's go ahead and sit back. We're going to macro up. We're going to get 200, 200. <clears throat> We're going to continue to harass with these Vultures. We're going to try to slow that economy down. We're going to try to keep them from taking additional bases. And then we're just going to have more upgrades and a more powerful army before Raz is able to deal with this. Raz, on the opposite side, needs to get these Arbiters out. Needs to get the uh, make sure they have a lot of energy, have the stasis, have basically spells, high templar, what that or what not, or an overwhelming army comparatively. The standoff to go ahead and deal with what Gypsy's throwing at him, and then beyond that, it'll be up to Raz to engage well and Gypsy to kind of do that slow push forward very carefully. It looks like he does have stasis, or sorry, he has EMP upgrading, getting that first science vessel out to deal with potential backdoor drops. Because covering this much territory, recall can be a pain, stasis can be a big pain. If you can hit a nice EMP on Arbiters, that can be the, a big, big shift in battle momentum towards in Terran's favor. Again, sneaking out another Vulture before that pylon, and you can just see delaying. Great job! That's exactly what he needs to do here. 
keep those expansions from going up, keep Raz from being able to push his economy forward. And in the meantime, macro up. Yeah, macro up, harass, and just delay, 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 delay. This 10 o'clock base is not yet saturated for Raz. He does not, he's not established this bottom right hand base, which he's wanted to establish. And even if he did, you can see these vultures just waiting to go ahead and pick out a ton of probes that might be cycling there. And I think this is half your, wow, those vultures just melting this cannon. Reinforcements for Raz moving up. And Gypsy very nicely going in, getting what he wanted to accomplish, basically showing that threat and then just backing off with the rest of the vultures. And I think he's happy to see the fact that that base was not well saturated. Raz actually macroing his brains out though behind this. He is hitting 200 here. Very, very nice macro. And he's basically 25 supply up despite everything else. So doing a fantastic job of at least filling out his troop count. However, I believe this is mostly in gateway units. Looks like he does have a, a handful of high Templars, so it's going to be down to Zealot Dragoon Micro. Fewer Arbiters that I'm seeing. Looks like a lot of other high Templar filling in. So it's going to come down to some nice spell casting. The thing is, is Protoss does need to go into Terran to win these matches. All J and Gypsy starting to move forward now that level 2 weapons and level 1 armor is online and he's close to 200 supply. So he's starting to press forward. And he can start playing whack-a-mole if he wants, or he can just try to establish a mid-game position where he's just cutting off bases and allowing those vultures to harass. And doing damage and force Raz to come to him effectively. He does have a lot of bunched up tanks right now, which is potential... Kind of an empty side strength there, which is potential stasis bait, but grabbing a great engagement position where there's all these blockades of... Moving up a nice stasis on some of those siege tanks, but there are just so many siege tanks. Great storms on those clumps from Raz, though. And the gateway unit's actually able to somehow sneak up into that gap, but these tanks are just pummeling everything else underneath here. The two are so great spell casting there by Raz, able to get a lot of side storm, but he just does not have enough units otherwise. And that plus just the great positioning where it's kind of these nice embankments where he can hold up and force Raz to come to him, kind of funnel the dragoons out, box them out. Ending up winning overall and still pressing out towards that 10 o'clock base. He can continue to slow play this forward. And again, it's up to Raz to have the energy and the, the side storms and the beautiful engagements more or less to stop him. And Raz out of units right now. All of a sudden, Gypsy, a bunch of supply ahead. He's starting to push into that 9 o'clock base. And it doesn't look like Raz has enough to fight it back. Continuing to press forward. Raz gathering up a little bit of troops, including a battle probe. Some zealots joining the fray. And so I feel like just the choice of engagement here might have won Gypsy the game. Just running up there and positioning exactly where he did. An absolute skeleton crew having trouble having the resources. And I think he just, because of that harassment that Gypsy had just prior, he just doesn't have the probes to provide the economy to fill his army back in. So that's GG from Raz. So Gypsy, and I'm going to go back to kind of the critical moments here if I can find it on the spot. Critical moment here. Speed it up a little bit. Gypsy moving out. Really doing a great job of, yeah, slow. And I think when he moved up here and saw that there were just not a lot of probes with that harassment with the uh, vultures just prior. He's like, okay, I know I've got enough. I know I've got the upgrades. I don't think he has the bank to deal with me, particularly because he doesn't have this base up. So he just moves in. But look at this. This is the location where he was able to siege up. And this is just perfect engagement location. <clears throat> right here where there's, yeah, there's a wide gap right here. But it's kind of, you got this narrow artifact. So the Zelts just can't run freely. The Dragoons can't engage from behind. They've got to, they've got to come from a unidirectional, well, I guess bidirectional. So only two locations where they can engage effectively. And it looks like additionally a lot of these gateway units are engaging before the stasis was in place, before the storms were dropped. And you can just see the Dragoons melting as they're all pocketing in. That's just maximizing the splash damage over those siege tanks. So some nice storms from Raz, some nice stasis. However, he just didn't have enough and it's just like a killing zone right here as he's able to push in. So great play from Gypsy overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to the next team battle. Thanks for listening.